Hey guys, I'm back from the last part in Lock Simi's level 11 weapon, the Abyssal Feather. And now, we're gonna go unlock the Yao Chan's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 8 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we were going for Diao Chan's, we have to go to her Legend Stage. And I'll show off the 6 mile like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the D.Va level 10. I can't equip any items or have any bodyguards, so move on. Actually, that pretty much covers it. So, let's do it. Alright, so in order to obtain the S rank and unlock the Yao Chan's level 11 weapon, all you have to do is defeat Hua Xiang within 10 minutes. It doesn't matter if you get caught or not, but I would recommend you going through the stage without getting caught. Because if you get caught, you're going to have to fight Lu Bu. And uh, fighting Lu Bu is never a fun time. So, just saying. Anyways, you also might have to defeat Dong Zhuo within 5 minutes. That is if the troops don't do this non-stop. Because sometimes the way the troops go, it gets all finicky and shit. And it gets annoying as fuck. So, uh... You might want to make sure they actually move on like that. And now, we'll go. <laughs> I'll tell you, that gets annoying as fuck. Because they come to you, kind of, even though you're in a dark place. And, uh... They technically hear you. Meanwhile, you're not even moving. So, anyways. Yeah, let's make sure those troops don't come up. And they go down, instead. Yeah, I'm way too ahead there. Alright. Now I should be good. I want to make sure I'm not directly behind them, otherwise I could get caught pretty quickly. Yeah, let's wait. Yeah, this is getting kind of strange. I think the majority of the troops are up there. The main troop isn't up there, so we're good. Now I just have to defeat this god captain quickly. And not have him block up like a fucking, fucking fortress. Anyways. Alright, we're good. Let's get inside quickly. Lord Dongzhuo, prepare yourself. What are you doing? All right, let's give it a shot. I have to be aggressive as fuck to uh, keep the wall rolling here. So far, so good. Dong Zhuo is down. Diao Chan, was it your intent all along to take my life? I cast myself into the darkness to bring light into this world. Farewell, Lord Dong Zhuo. All right, so Dong Zhuo is down, and now we should be good for a bit. Um, yeah, let's grab the little bit of health over here. Because there's a hundred over here, there's a full over here, and then there's two hundred in one of these pots over here. So, 
what we're gonna do now is get ourselves out of here. And that's not a fun time, because, uh, as you know, the troops are aggressive as fuck, so that's never gonna be a fun time. However, in order to save a little time, I'm gonna go and, uh, defeat the enemy generals. That way, I don't have to worry about the, uh, officers underneath them. So... I want to make sure I do enough damage to the troops too, because as I said before, the troops are aggressive as fuck, and uh, they're never a fun time, especially going up against them with uh, no bodyguards or items equipped. Yeah, never, ever, ever a fun time. So uh, yeah, we gotta be careful. And as I said before, there's two things of health uh, back where I was, where Dong Zhuo was. So, if you need them, grab them. And I think I'm going to grab one right now. I'm going to grab the 200. Also, be careful because you use your Musu attacks. All, your, all the enemy troops could possibly block up like a fucking fortress. So, um, yeah, once again, never a fun time. Alright, so th that's one down. I do want to take out an elite guard. Because, uh, I'm going to need to defeat an elite guard right now. Um, why the fuck is that one elite guard just running away? I'll take that. Now we'll go for Dong Min, if I'm not mistaken, and Li Meng. But we will definitely skip Li Meng. 100% skip Li Meng. Hopefully he does not follow me over the fucking map. Um, yeah, let, let's wait right over here. Because the last thing I need is to make sure... Well, the last thing I really need is having both Li Meng and Dong Min attack me at the same time. So what I'm going to do is that and go for Dong Min. Something dropped, and I want it. Take that battle axe and, uh. Yeah, I had to go for an elite guard because I'm about to die. Alright. And I'll grab that. And we'll go for Wash Young right now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? Well, at least that weakened him for a bit. Oh, I saw the battle axe activated, kind of. Alright, I have two minutes to defeat Wash Young. Unless he sends me fucking flying. That was fucking close. Holy shit. That might finish him off. And 
now most of them will retreat. So let's uh make sure we do that, and then we should be set. And that's a win. That was fucking annoying. Oh my god. And I'm dreading other ones. <laughs> Anyways, other weapons. So, our KO count is 60. We defeated four worthy opponents. It could be a lot more, but... I'm not trying to defeat everybody in that stage. Because the objective is to defeat Wash Young and get my ass out of there. And uh, our clear time is 8 minutes and 37 seconds. And our point total is 5,328 points. Not that that matters because the points and rank are at max. So, anyways, there it is. The level 11 weapon, the Muse. And just like any other level 11 weapon, the attack power is at plus 60. And the items that come with it are the Dragon Amulet which gives you additional uh, Musu Gauge. Uh, it will increase your Musu Gauge meter. Oh, um, I don't know why that doesn't sound right to me. Basically, it extends your Musu Gauge. That sounds better. Um, yeah, so you got that. Then you have, uh, that's at level 12. The seven star sash, which is additional luck at level 15. You would think it would be level 20, but Anyways, uh, the elixir, which is, um, it helps you fill your Musu Gauge up quicker, that's level 20. And the Herbal Remedy, which gives you additional damage towards your charge attacks, at level 14. So, that's the weapon, and in order to get it, as I said before, all you have to do is possibly defeat Dung's roll within the first 5 minutes of the stage. And then defeat Wash Young within the first 10 minutes. It doesn't matter if you get caught or not. If you get caught, then you don't have to worry about Lubu, which will, uh, will definitely, um, that's definitely gonna waste time. Yeah. Lost my train of thought there. Long fucking day. Anyways, so that's all you have to do. And, uh, yeah, anyways, moving on, the grade, we got an S, obviously, but the grade is a 90. I wonder if KOs have something to do with getting the, uh, perfect score, but, um, I'm not worried about that, just for the fact that all I need is 90 points or higher, and I'm good. Anyways, we will save, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4, in some cases Extreme Legends, well in this case it really is Extreme Legends, and I'll see you in the next part where we will go and unlock another level 11 weapon, and the next uh, level 11 weapon we're going to be getting, and sorry about that, um, that was weird, my phone just went off there, um, the next level 11 weapon we're going to be getting is Sunjian's. So. Peace out.